Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to teach you five freestyle moves for beginners. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. OneFootball is a free football app that covers hundreds of leagues all around the world. So you can stay up to date with your favorite team, your favorite player, and everything happening in the world of football. Absolutely free to download onto your device. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. Go and check it out. So the first move is the toe bounce. So what it looks like, the ball's dropping, you have your toe out like that and it just bounces up again. This is a great move that you can use to actually learn some more advanced moves. So all we're doing as the ball is coming down, we use gravity to bounce off your toe. So literally all you have to do is bend your toes upwards. So your heels pointing down, your toes are flexed upwards and you're trying to catch it right on the end. That's a nice flat surface area that's gonna make the ball bounce back up in the air. So you have to have good timing, try and hit underneath the exact center of the ball so that when it comes down, it just bounces up again. The next move is the half around the world. So if you're not quite ready to take on the full around the world like this, where your foot goes all the way around the ball, you can actually make it a little bit easier for you until you master that movement to get all the way around the ball. So for half around the world, this is what it looks like. We go halfway around, then we juggle it with our opposite foot. So all we have to do as we're juggling, we're gonna put spin on the ball as we make contact. So we're not gonna to touch and then try and go around the ball. We're gonna try and do it all in one movement. So we touch the ball and move around it simultaneously. So let's piece it together, around the ball, and then juggle it with the opposite foot. The third move is the crossover. Another really good one that you can pair with other movements to look really, really cool. It does look good by itself, so this is what it looks like. You juggle the ball, one foot goes over the top, the other underneath juggles the ball upwards. So it takes a little bit of timing. You have to know when to jump and when to move the opposite leg around it. So just get used to juggling it and then hopping at the same time. And it's almost like a half around the world movement. But this time the opposite leg is gonna go around the ball. Then as you'll notice, as I juggle with my underneath foot, I'm jumping at the same time. And that's the crossover. Move number four is the heel juggle. So this is what it looks like. You're juggling the ball, then you're gonna use the heel to kick it up in the air. A lot simpler than it seems, but once you get the technique down using the right area of the heel and hitting the right area of the ball, it's very, very simple. But it's a great move that you can pair with other moves that looks really cool. So what we have to do is make sure we flexed our leg enough so our heel is parallel underneath the ball. If it's too low at an angle, the ball's just gonna fly off somewhere else. And we also have to make sure we're hitting right through the center of that ball. So piece it all together, flex that leg about 90 degrees, making sure the heel is parallel, hitting underneath right in the center of that ball, and the ball should go right directly up in the air. And the final move, I like to call it the slap. So what we're doing is we're letting the ball bounce. As it bounces, we step over the ball with our leg, and that behind leg slaps the ball down with the laces. So this is what it looks like. Step over the ball, slap it down, and then you continue to juggle it. So it looks a little bit more complicated, but it's actually really simple. The only thing we need is timing. So as the ball is about to bounce, we need to step over that ball, almost like an around the world movement, making sure our leg doesn't make contact with the ball. So just as it goes underneath, we step over, then that behind leg, we flex it up. So as the ball bounces, we then slap it back down into the ground. Then we get back in position and we can continue the juggle. So let's piece it all together. About to bounce, slap down, and then we can continue to juggle. So there we go guys, five beginner freestyle moves that are gonna allow you to learn some more advanced ones if you master these ones first. If you do wanna learn some more advanced freestyle moves, I'm gonna put a link to those on the screen right now. And also if you wanna learn some cool ways to flick up the ball, a little bit more advanced than your basic roll back and flick up, I'm gonna put a link to that on the screen right now as well. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.